This is 7 News. Tonight, another crash after a police chase in Perth. As family and friends remember the innocent mother killed when police ran a red light. She's a very, very nice lady. A petrol tanker bursts into flames on a WA highway. And Bob Brown's shock resignation, quitting as a senator and leader of the Greens. From the studios of Seven Perth, Rick Arden. Good evening. Another police chase has ended in a crash 24 hours after an innocent driver was killed during a pursuit. It happened in City Beach when police were on the tail of a suspected car thief. Grant Taylor begins our coverage. Like yesterday's chase, this one could so easily have ended badly. A stolen car driven by a burglary suspect, it went the wrong way down busy West Coast Highway into oncoming traffic. And despite one tyre being blown, police say it was still travelling at over 100 kilometres an hour. Well, it was going pretty quick. A lot of dust. The cop car was pretty close behind. The man behind the wheel had allegedly just robbed a home in City Beach. Police in a marked car were chasing it north along West Coast Highway when the car suddenly swerved across the median strip onto the wrong side, just south of Hale Road. The officers followed it, but it was all over moments later. Police say it was a hero truck driver who actually brought this chase to an end. Now, the driver was travelling south on West Coast Highway. He could see the car coming towards him, managed to slow down and block the road. That's what forced the stolen car up the kerb. Witnesses say the car caught fire when it ground to a halt and the driver tried to run, but he didn't get far. Inside the car, a copy of this morning's West, the front page devoted to yesterday's chase tragedy. Also found were syringes and stolen property from at least three burglaries. West Coast Eagles legend and former trainer Bill Sutherland's home was one of those hit. A watch he was given when he retired was among the items recovered. You don't like people just coming into your house and pinching stuff and yeah. it, makes you, it makes you feel very insecure. Police say, unlike yesterday, this chase had been authorised. A decision was made to abort it due to the danger seconds before it finished. Grant Taylor, 7 News. And the innocent woman killed in yesterday's police chase has been described as kind and generous and a great mother. She was 50-year-old Sharon DeCole, who lived just a few kilometres from the crash scene. Her daughter is in hospital. It was her 16th birthday. Alexis Donkin reports. A sombre journey for friends and relatives of Sharon de Cole, reflecting on the life of a woman described as an angel and a wonderful mother. She's a very, very nice lady. Always she's helpful. You know, we love to each other. Sharon de Cole was killed when a police car smashed into the side of her Toyota in Dianella yesterday. Her daughter, Lachey, was in the front passenger seat. She was badly injured. It was Lachey's 16th birthday. The police car was on an unauthorised pursuit, chasing a stolen Audi. The crash happened at the corner of Morley and Alexander Drives. Sharon and Lachey de Cole were just a few kilometres from home. Sharon's mother-in-law spoke of the family's loss today. She was one of the best girls in the world. She looked after the children like the best wife. She was one angel. The fatal crash has raised more questions about police pursuits. I think it is a timely opportunity to review police pursuit procedures. We, we simply cannot give up our streets to these thugs and criminals who are committing horrific crimes in our society. There are bans on police pursuits in other states. Queensland police aren't allowed to chase a vehicle if children are on board or if it's driving dangerously, which includes crossing onto the wrong side of the road or even speeding. Police Commissioner Carlo Callahan doesn't support calls to ban high-speed pursuits here in WA because he says it hasn't worked in other states. I think the community expect us to bring those people to justice. They expect us to chase them and that's what we're going to do. The police commissioner won't rule out charges against the two officers involved. Alexis Donkin, 7 News. A fuel tanker has burst into flames after it rolled on the Great Southern Highway near Catanning, north of Albany. The flames were fuelled by 60,000 litres of petrol. The driver escaped before the truck exploded. He's managed to escape through the cab. Um, and later the, uh, the cab and the entire contents of the vehicle have uh, disintegrated. 
It took firefighters five hours to control the blaze. Residents six kilometres away in Katanning were advised to stay indoors to avoid the smoke and fumes. And there's been a bad car crash in the south of the state involving a family of five on holiday. It happened 10 kilometres outside Ravensthorpe on the Newdigate Ravensthorpe Road. Chantel Tui, three children from the family are in Princess Margaret Hospital tonight. Yeah.